The Idea Collective Retreat in November is going to bring together small business owners from all around the country and the world, in fact. And it's going to help us make deep connections, set goals for 2022, and learn from some amazing keynote speakers, including Mel Robbins, superstar marketer Jesse Cole, and more. But let me tell you, this event is not possible doing it all by myself. I need the help of some galaxy big brains, and I've got one of them on the phone today. Uh, one of our sponsors is Talmar Anderson, the owner of Boss Actions, and uh, she's really cool. And if you have not met Talmar yet, you get to right now. Howdy, Talmar. How are you today? I'm fantastic, Pat. How are you? I'm good. I am so excited that you're on board to help present our retreat because we simply couldn't do it without you. And I love what you do. I love the way you do it. And I know that you're vibing with the reason why we're having the retreat, but we'll learn about that in a second. I first want everyone to know about you because I know how cool you are, but not everybody else does. So tell us about the Talmar and Boss Actions, what you do. The Talmar. Well, the Talmar, we don't have time for today, but we'll start with uh, Boss Actions. So Boss Actions is a hiring strategy and boss best practices firm working with overwhelmed business owners that know their business could be so much more if they just had the right people on their team. And whether that's because they haven't quite figured out how to find the right people or how to motivate that underperformer, we really want to make it as easy as possible for business owners to hit the ground, really scale easily with all the right people, right butts in the seat, I believe is how you say it, Pat. That's right. And uh, that's how we get to be profitable, have fun doing it and actually serve our clients in a bigger, better way every day. And what are some of the forms that that help comes in? Is that training? Is that coaching? Is that, are those classes? Like what kind of help? Great question, Pat. Thank the you. first thing I will tell you is we are not recruiters. A lot of people make the mistake when they hear the word hiring and they think, oh, they do it all for us. Sorry, folks. We're looking for business owners that really want to understand how to look at their business and identify what do I need? What do I need right now to be successful or to take over this over overwhelming work or what's going to be the right kind of fit, right? We need somebody who wants to learn how to identify what your business needs to be successful. So we created a process called bossification because everything's about action with us. And bossification is available a couple different ways. We have the on-demand version, which is lifetime access. It's not a membership thing where they buy and they pay every month. They get into the to the program, they go through the different pieces, but they will have lifetime access to all of the tools, the resources, the templates, but wait, there's more. Yeah. Included also, Ooh, sorry, I'm hitting my mic. Included in that is a weekly Q and a live Q and a with me, Tamar. I'm the head hiring strategist and boss best practice expert. And every week at Tuesday, 4 PM Eastern, uh, 1 PM Pacific, I am live for an hour answering as many questions, comments, challenges as our clients need for the life of the program. So if you have a great team right now, we get you the right people and then you go out and you're working and all of a sudden somebody comes to you and asks, Hey, what in the world do I do? This person just came in and said, they're going to quit and take half my business with me. I don't think I can survive without them. Do I have to give them this big raise? They can come on at that moment and we help them through. So they're never really left on their own. They have someone backing them up. And that program is uh, the on-demand version. There's a hiring accelerator where they get to work one-on-one -on -one with me for four months and they still get that whole bossification program and lifetime access. And then workshops, two to three day workshops are available starting in September. That would make September a difference. September 2021. That would make a difference in small business owners' lives, which is absolutely true. You're also helping lead and kind of form the guts of the Idea Collective Collaboration community. You've been a member for a long time, very active inside the group, helping people on the website and at our events. And I remember when I called and told you about the retreat, it didn't take long for you to go, I'm in. So yeah. tell us why you're supporting the Idea Collective Retreat in November and why Boss Actions needs to be a part of it. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I, you know, um, I, I, we recently went through a, a, wor a world where we were not able to be with each other. And by that, I mean, you know, we were very isolated. Um, everything was virtual. And, you know, there's some businesses that thrived and some that struggled. I get that. But what became clearer 
more clear, better word, uh, to me was how really excited entrepreneurs and business owners get and how that energy really just compounds when we're in a room, physically in a room, vibing off of the same concepts. And inevitably, if I'm in a room with other business owners and entrepreneurs, especially in a space that's about growth and scaling and learning, I can't help but come away with some major aha that my business needed at that moment. So if I know that and I'm getting that from my clients and my contacts, I'm looking for very specific places to do that. And for me, Idea Collective over the last year has been the place that I go to when I need that energy, even in a virtual space, right? And so knowing that I can get that virtually, I can only imagine what it's going to be like when we are all in a room together doing this. And so, so the Idea Collective offers this great solution to me and to others, giving that virtual connection of business owners that are quick to give and quick to help and get us over those humps. But then when we did a retreat, the idea of us all going and building, I wanted to be able to do more and help more. And, and for Boss Actions, it aligns just strategically because literally, I just want to help everybody be wildly successful. And the best way for me to do that is to bring me and my team and our products and services and let people know that it's a solution they could find. You definitely show up with all the energy as everyone can see now, <laughs> uh, but you've always been a great contributor and we've had people join the group that stay and become fixtures and people that stick their toe in the water and realize it isn't for them. Mm -hmm. From your perspective, who are the types of small business owners that you think would find the Idea Collective a good place to be? Like, have you noticed any patterns or the types of people that uh, are yeah. a good fit for the group? Yeah. Um, if you think you know the answer to everything, um, this is not for you, <laughs> which is, you know what I'm saying, Pat? It's not that it's, it's okay to be an expert. Like I, you know, let's talk hiring. Cause I'm going to go toe to toe with whoever on how I can help and give real understanding. However, I don't know everything. And I don't, and I honestly probably don't even know everything about hiring yet strategies for small business, but that's what I do. So I, I think that I see in the room all the time, people that are willing to consider other perspectives. I know crazy talk and to really be willing to, they, first of all, everybody wants more for their business. Everybody wants more for their customers and their clients, but everybody wants more for themselves, right? We also talk that, that hard part of getting in our own way or, you know, just indecision or just, you know, some days there's, you know, the, the, um, the buffet of choices to an mm -hmm. entrepreneur, um, they all look good. And someday you need somebody who knows you a little bit and goes, <laughs> you know, this way, sweetheart, not that way. Yeah. Right. And so uh, that's, I think that that's, we all are willing to call each other out. If we say something that is inconsistent and incongruent, incongruent with who we've represented ourselves to be. And then we also are the, just the biggest champions. It doesn't matter what's going on. The cheerleading, the support, genuine, authentic, we might swear a little. Okay, I swear a lot. <laughs> Some don't swear at all. It's weird, but that seems yeah. to be a thing. And uh, but we're very in it to win it and to win it together and to celebrate every little thing with you, Pat, is so much fun. Well, I know that we're gonna have a great time in November, and you're hitting on the thing that I've been talking about more and more lately is the Idea Collective. Yeah, we talk business, but it's really about life. It's about yeah. the small business journey. Because doing your business well means living a good life. And to do those two things, you got to have quality people around you that are willing, like you say, to pick you up when you've fallen down and to cheer you on when something good happens. Uh, that's when I think the Idea Collective is at its best and you've been a great contributor uh, inside the group. So thank you for being a good contributor and thank you for being a partner for the retreat in November. I want to go back to a second on... Um, on hiring and how it helps small business owners, if that's okay. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay. I know. I know. <laughs> Let's talk about you. I know, me and um, my clients and how I can help. Tell me more. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm brilliant. Yes, I know. Yes, I'm waiting. This seems to be a problem that pops up when people start having success, when they go from zero to one employee. Is that common? Mm. Is that when people like maybe get frustrated because things are going great? Now they have to go hire someone and they don't know how to do it or they're frustrated with how they did it? Well, you, it's interesting. And, and that's why I often say, you know, I'm on a mission to take boss back. Like being a boss, it, it, it's got a bad rap. It's got a really, and I still to this day have people who are like, are you sure you don't want to change your company name? You know, boss means a bad thing to me. They have ogre, you know, 
supervisors that have just ruined their days or their lives. And they just can't imagine aligning with that. And, and the thing they, they really just take these myths and these bad experiences and these pressures that the only way that you could ever get someone to do anything for you in your business is if you were mean or overbearing. Um, and then we, you know, combine that with that idea that nobody does it as well as we do. And <laughs> we've created this chaos cloud that we get stuck in our head and we just can't get away from it. Right. Um, and so, yeah, absolutely. That, that is the first sticking point is really, you know, when we're trying to hire that, you know, they, they roll their eyes, oh, or they're, it makes them sick to their stomach, the idea of hiring. And it's just that fear that it's this big thing that can't be that they're going to have to go through the pain to get to the joy. And so our mission is to make sure that they know, no, it's a process and you can learn it. And you don't have to wear the badges of honor. Oh, I had somebody text by, or quit by text on the day that, you know, a big project was, you don't have to do it that way. You can learn the process step-by-step. Step. It's not a talent. It's not magic. It is a, it's a system that anyone can learn. And especially a business owner and an entrepreneur has to learn for success. Otherwise it's never going to work in any kind of way that will keep you out of the hospital. <laughs> so if, yeah, right. So if someone's watching this right now and they are just your ideal client, how are they feeling right now? The people that really need to get a hold of you, how are they feeling at this moment? Oh, so good. So there's two people. The first one is the person that is just like, they're, they're just avoiding that underperforming team member. They're like, please, God, I don't want to have this conversation again. <laughs> Literally, it's not rocket science. I don't know why they can't figure it out. I've given them so many chances. We need to talk because let's talk about what a chance is. A chance is telling somebody what they're doing wrong the first time they do it. So they have a chance to do it right the second time. A chance isn't just waiting for them to magically figure it out but I digress. You know me, I get too excited. So that's the first person. They're feeling really frustrated with an underperformer. The second person is somebody who's just, you know, they just believe that they have got it figured out. They know what they're selling. They know their client and they're just tapped on time because they're nervous. They're fearful. They're worried about the hiring because they don't understand it and they're confused by it. And they think it's a very overbearing, time intensive, I could never fit it on my schedule. And that is limiting the growth and scaling of their business. So they're feeling just overwhelmed and frustrated. And they just know it could be more if they could find the right people, but they've got that fear keep, keeping them down. They're like, it's just too hard. It takes too much time. I could never do it. So I'm just going to stay here and suffer. I can absolutely hear in my head the person that's just wishing that bad employee would quit. Oh, uh, and they do. Right? They, they, do you know how much money you are costing yourself? Oh. Holy Batman, seriously, yeah. seriously. It, every time we, we're, and we're not being nice by doing it. Here's the thing, people, you know, and I'm going to speak to the bosses pack because I know this isn't you, I'm sure. Please. Oh, not but, me. <laughs> no, no, no. I am perfect in all ways, of course. <laughs> so here's the thing. I know you want to be nice. I know you think you're giving them a chance that you're, there's like something they're going to wake up tomorrow and go, yep, I'm going to do the job perfectly. My boss is going to be so happy. But the truth is they're just as miserable. If you really have an underperformer that you've tried once or twice to say, this is what we need and they're not doing it you're the longer you wait, you're making it miserable for both of you. One, you're, you're hurting their chance to be at a job that they like doing well, because there is a different one out there for them Two, you're hurting your business because this person is messing up, not just your stress. Let's, I mean, let's leave us out of it, even though we like to start with ourselves, it's hurting your clients. It's hurting your future clients. It's hurting your opportunity to grow and hire more people that need that job from you, right? It's not being nice, letting somebody suffer in a position that they're not successful at. And it doesn't matter whether it's your fault, it's their fault. Let's not worry about the fault right now. Let's just know that that's the action we have to take and figure out what we can do differently to make sure it's going to work for you. And I can hear the other person who's saying, uh, hiring someone's more trouble than it's worth. I don't even want to deal with it. The problem is nobody really teaches anyone. Okay. Nobody before boss actions. <laughs> nobody really teaches people how to hire. Everybody thinks it starts with the employment ad, which they're convinced they can just grab and copy their friends and it's going to work out perfectly. But let me tell you, you're hiring for your friend's business. So don't be upset when they don't do it exactly the way you want because you use somebody else's employment ad. You attracted the wrong person.
And even though the title might be the same, customer service representative, customer service representative, it's not the same person. You and your friend's business are different businesses. You have different clients. You have your different people as a supervisor. It's all different. And so the idea that you can't learn this and get ahead of it, it's not overwhelming. It's step-by-step. Step. It can be done in eight weeks or less, depending on how you decide to work the program or work with boss actions and you can get the right people, but it's about making a shift in how you think about your business and how you hire and that you're only going to hire the right person. And I can show you how to prove that they're the right person to yourself so you can hire faster. Okay. So listen, this is a message from me to you. We've Absolutely. known each other now for a while. You've gotten to know me pretty well. And you know how much I care about small business owners and how much this retreat means to me. Yes. I literally could be not, I couldn't do it without you. And I'm very Aww. grateful for your support. So thank you very much. Well, I want to say thank you for letting me be involved and giving me the opportunity to be one of the sponsors of this retreat. It's not just you, the people you attract to this community. And oh my God, your speakers, literally, we changed our book club because Jesse Cole, I looked into him once you announced him and you were telling us about, I, for, I we've totally changed our whole book club order around. So we're going to be reading uh, How to Find Your Yellow Tax. I think that starts in September. No, November 8th. It's right after the retreat, right after the retreat, we're starting. It. So anyway, um, but yeah, I just, I want to be around the people that you are attracting to these things. And I know that it will help my business and that I can help others. And I can't imagine being anywhere else. Well, thank you very much. If you want to know more about Talmar and Boss Actions, look up the website, bossactions.com. And when you come to the retreat, look for Talmar. You won't have to look long. Trust me, she'll find you. Uh, <laughs> she'll She's be loud, there. you'll hear her. It'll be great. She'll be there with bells on and make sure you grab your ticket now. It's early November and it's going to be amazing. Grab your ticket at smallbizretreat.com. I'm Pat Miller, the Idea Coach, and we'll see you in November.